Hey guys, <clears throat> um, we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> I usually spend, lately especially, I spend a few minutes before I actually start to try to settle Juno down. Um, she's, she, I mean, she's adorable. She's also a pain in the rear end of someone when she gets into kitten mode, which is 90% of the time. And then she just comes over when it's time for sleep and then she slams her head onto my shoulder and it's like, you forget about everything. You're like, oh, okay, she exhausted the hell out of me today, but, aw. So, uh, I love her to death. She's grooming right now next to Oscar right there. Um, and Oscar hasn't been around lately because she, if, if I get to do readings and she's in kitten mode, she's gonna bug him. So I'm like, you, 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 you go with the boys. You all sleep, you're older. You go with the boys. Let the girls handle this. And now she's kind of like, you know, still halfway through being kitten and uh, sleeping. So we'll try. We'll try. We'll, we'll see if this works. Oscar sleeping. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, Juno Squirrel. You can't see it, but Squirrel. Um, what was I? Okay, so there was supposed to be for the ones that uh, are watching the introduction of these videos. <laughs> there was supposed to be a live situation happening Friday afternoon. Uh, we decided we're not going to do it live in the end because our schedules are... Well, we, we could actually, you know, if we force it, we could make it. But, um we decided to just come out with the video, so watch for a video in the next few days um, of a collaboration with me and... Stop. Uh, Soulful Revolution, that's where I learned from. Uh, she was offering some classes about, when was that, 2019? Uh, right before spring. Yeah. Yeah, I was driving my truck, I was listening, she was one of the people I was watching. I still watch her, I don't watch a lot of tarot lately, to be honest. Uh, I don't watch a lot of things lately that, you know. But my, my watching interests have shifted into, um, a lot of the times, nothing. <laughs> um, but um, <clears throat> she was one of the people I used to watch and she was offering this class. And uh, I just pressed the button. I'm like, let me see if I can, because I, I was kind of learning on my own, but it's good to have a structure in that. And I know for some of you that already know her, you do notice the difference in style of reading. I gotta move things because Juno's here. Um, so that's because again, you know, she, she did a great job through her class um, organizing things so that it's easier for, for people to learn. Um, in their own time, at their own pace. And uh, I think that helped me out a lot in terms of, okay, well, this does this, this, because uh, ultimately it's like knowing the cards, the, the meaning of the cards until you don't have to think about them anymore. And it's it's pretty difficult when you have to gather the, the information from here, from there, from, okay, that's the camera. That's the light. No, 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 uh, no. So from everywhere, basically, and put it together yourself, rather than having it there structured nicely for you. Um, so, I don't know, to me it helped, and then I was really excited when, um, a little over a year ago, actually, I got an email from her asking if I wanted to do something together. She didn't know I took her class, which was <laughs> quite nice. I'm like, oh, okay, sure, I want to do something. Uh, together so here we are today I told you life is very busy and it was busy for the both of us uh, last year so we finally okay you know what I promised we got to do this let's let's get it going uh, so it's gonna be posted over the next several days we haven't done it yet so um, stay tuned for that it's basically gonna be a collaboration over um, a reading similar to this one, you know, looking at all signs, getting two perspectives, 
um, on what's going on there. Sometimes um, kind of adding to one another. Other times, maybe ooh, the energy on my side looks like, hold on, something else is going on here too. You know, so it could be, it could be interesting to, to see. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna post it. And anything else? Oh, Juno's going to bed. Yay, we can do this. Current energy check-ins. Man, I love her to death, but not when I'm working. Not when, not when I'm working. I thought, I thought Kai was bad. And she's, it's not that she's bad. She's very, very persistent. Very persistent. And what I like about her in particular is that she gets it. If I tell her once, no, she doesn't do it. However, she's very creative and she's coming up with a hundred other ways to do that thing that she understood. Oh no, so not like this? Okay, I'll try it in a different way. Hard, sometimes. But it's a good kind of hard. Um, yeah, so. Uh, current energy seconds. Let's get back to business here. Um, I'll be looking into each sign by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Uh, it'll be quick, to the point, no clarification, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, no extended for the Friday videos. Um, <clears throat> what else? I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or a situation. I still get the question, because could this refer to my job? Yes, it can. It can refer to pretty much anything. It's easier for us to translate it as another person when in fact it's another energy so that it's in the translation of the energy. It's hard to say, oh, you know, this is for sure your job, or this is for sure a person, or we don't know. It comes in the shape and form of an energy, and we put it out there as it's a person. But it can be just about anything. So where you're at in regards to another energy, where the energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energy, energy is at, um, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for all of you. Uh, <clears throat> Timestamps will be below in the description, in the description card. Pick a card. Pick a choose this one. Yeah, you didn't choose that one, I know. Ah, six of cups. We're soulmates. Anyways, uh, timestamps will be in the description box and in the comment section and um, on the play bar. Um, That's it? Nah, there's gotta be more. Roles can be reversed. So whenever I'm referring to you, this is you, it could be them and the other way around. Um, mm, 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 mm. My door to my readings is open for any kind of placement, for anything you feel resonates. Don't try to force it to resonate. Um, because my intention is for the message to get to whoever needs to hear it whenever they need to hear it. So, since energy is fluid, who the hell knows? Anyways, um, I think we're good to go. Yeah, earth signs, Capricorn. Capricorn, you sleep. You sleep, you're a good boy. Good Capricorn. starting to show signs of blooming. I saw that, but I thought I was seeing things. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Yay. Keep on, I keep on hoping. Today it snowed, but I keep on hoping. Um, I don't care. Yay. Let's see, Gabby. Don't, don't, I thought you went to bed. That's not going to bed. No, no. I have these lights that are hanging kind of like, uh, there you 
they're hanging and she's hanging now from them apparently when did she start doing that anyways Cappy, on your side, you get the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, the Five of Wands. Um, there's an energy attached to you that of, I got to say something about this or I got to do something about this kind of an energy. Um, I feel like you're being intuitively called to do something about a situation. Mind the energy you're using for that because it might create conflict. Um, yeah, feel it through. Yeah, I got to do something about it check where you're coming from because if you're coming from a place of i'm angry about it so i'm gonna i'm gonna give them something to to think about here um you're coming from your own anger so uh you know but if, if there is something you need to open up about yeah do it just check your energy when you're when you're going there because again i see it having the potential to create conflict or it could be that you want to do something about a conflict that's already there, which is, I feel like it's a good energy you're in, in terms of your intention. Um, the energy that's attached to you, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Chariot. Ooh, those are tough energies. Good energies, but tough energies. Very determined, very, mm, I know what I got to do and I'm going to do it when I'm going to feel like it. Not like it, when I'm going to feel it's time and, uh, but it's, it's coming in very sharp. And fast, that's the thing. It's not fast and furious. It's fast and... What is it? Very determined. Let's just put it that way. You know? So it could be that uh, because you're dealing with this, this energy, things could be feeling a little riled up. And I don't know if they are necessarily, but they could be feeling in that way. For the connection, though, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers. There's something that's matching here. There's something that works in between the two of you. I'm looking at the energies and I'm like, what? Um, but there's something that keeps you working, keeps you in an energy of, okay, this thing is, you know, everything's great here. Or at least it has the potential to work in... As long as you uh, take into consideration the energy you're coming from, the energy they're coming from, they seem to be a little bit different. That doesn't make a situation not work. It's how people handle these energies. That's what makes a situation not work. The energy available is for things to work out though. So let's see what the universe has. Oops. Page of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, there's something There's something growing here. There's something growing. There's something happening. But it's a good something. There's a good something in between the two of you that the both of you are kind of working on together. Uh, you doing your own thing, they're them doing their own thing, but bringing the energies, you know, together kind of creates something nice. There's a whole lot of passion, love that could be um, coming through or that it wants to come through at least. You're not showing, showing it to me, they're not showing it to me. You know, that whole sense of, yeah, something is something is clicking here big time. But the connection is showing it to me and the universe is showing it to me. So it's like, almost like it's a supportive kind of an energy from the universe for this situation, whatever this is. So that's nice. But that's it. All right, moving on to Taurus. On your side, you get the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. 
you're very open in a particular direction it could be tied up to your work i don't know what it is but i feel like you have a lot of openness uh you're coming from a good place here good intentions um you're also very logical about it so it's like you have that whole balanced kind of an energy towards making something work here for whatever energy this is attached to you they got the ten of pentacles the knight of wands the temperance card they seem to be wanting something stable something good they're coming towards you too you're coming with an open heart they're coming with an open passion so I don't know. I, I I don't know exactly what this is. I feel like it's more like a collaboration, possibly with someone in regards to a project or something. It could also be love. I don't see that as being the you know the the main focus here within both of your energies. But um, something seems to be feeling good on both sides when it comes to yeah, I'm open to this. I want to do this. They seem to be in the same place. It seems like it took them a while, but okay for the connection the six of pentacles the page of pentacles the king of swords yeah equal give and take it's a productive kind of a collaboration so i don't know what this is again could even be love how what what, what do i know i don't know king of swords to the king to the queen of swords power couple right here so it's there's definitely a match here whatever this is you know, where the energies are working together, possibly towards the same goal. And it's very productive, I feel, for the both of you. You know, um, kind of a learning experience through this collaboration. Um, let's see what the universe has. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Two of Wands. Huh. Really? This is a very, it's like whatever showed up in this reading, I now see it kind of like a, you know, that bubble that opens up a dream phase and you see everything working smooth and everything working fine. Meanwhile, you're here looking at that bubble, envisioning that and being like, oh man, I wish that could happen. Now, that could be the case, even though the energies are very pentacly, which is dragging me into the physical. So I'm like, either this is happening at the surface, where it's like, everything's fine here, we're good. But there's something more going on underneath. Or this is not happening at all, at all and someone's kind of waiting for things to, to, to go into that place of kind of working together like that because someone is definitely waiting here for something that's been long gone you know not even accepting fully that that has been long gone hmm i like it it's like you're presenting me with pretty looking energies and then you're like ah uh, hold off not really I'm like what are you what, what? ah this is someone's uh, la la land uh although as i said it could be the case but there's something going on behind the scenes where the energies are working out on the surface there's something deeper going on so that's it moving on to virgo you know what? I wasn't stopping I'm like oh let's do this Virgo I was thinking about uh because I bought a bunch of hummingbird feeders we have a few here uh there's one in particular that comes in all the time and it's a very interesting color it's a dark like really dark color almost black with a little bit of a I don't know if it's green or a yellow color kind of thing, but it's, it's, or even red. I don't remember from last year, see? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll spot it this year because I'm sure it'll come back. And I, I got a bunch of feeders, <laughs> man. Uh, and I also got, uh, I think I'm gonna put one somewhere here. Cause I got a bunch for the windows too. So I wanna try those out. 
Um, I can't wait. Probably next week I'm gonna set them up. Let's see, Virgo. All right, on your side, you get the Judgment card, the Seven of Swords, the Empress card. There's a, I feel like there, there is this Empress who, I don't know who this is to you, but definitely showing up as someone quite important to you. Um, I kind of get the sense that you're open to this energy, but a part of you is turned around from this energy, turned, has their back turned to this energy. Um, almost as if I'm scared. I'm scared to, to completely face you in this and completely open up. I feel like whatever this energy is of, let me turn my back to you. I feel like it's helping you uh, heal certain aspects without you even consciously knowing that you're doing that. So there's a little part of you that doesn't allow you to fully open up to an energy that's important here. The good news is you're healing that even though you have no clue you are. Um, the energy that's attached to you, the Hierophant, the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, this could be a marriage, or if it's not, it feels that way, at least on this side here. Because it feels like it has passion, it has partnership, it has let's work together kind of thing. And then there's the Hierophant, the, the energy of commitment, marriage, foundation, I don't know. For the connection, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords. I love how you guys opened this reading up, the Earth signs. It seems like things are working out somehow. Except for this energy right here, which I'm not sure if you're doing it like in the physical, if you're actually kind of not there in the physical, but I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's more one of your fears pulling you back and not allowing you to fully open up. Um, but in the connection, it looks like there's energies here that are working for this to, to grow. So let's see what the universe has. The Three of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Justice cards. Someone might be going through a, a little bit of a hard time. Someone might be going through something painful here. Now, in the way that these cards show, showed up, I would say that's you. But you would know if it's someone else. Um, the thing is here that even though someone may be experiencing something a little icky, a little painful, um, it's looking like whatever it is they, they're doing... It's working in terms of healing that pain. You know, it's shown up as, okay, it's starting to, to settle down, to not hurt as much, which is telling me there's healing being done. So, and that's it. Moving on to Aries. I forget how many times I shuffle. I have a problem today. I don't know if this is the third time or the fourth. Doesn't matter. I usually do three. And I'm pretty OCD when it comes to um, structuring things usually. But apparently today, the universe doesn't want me to be. And I'm like, okay, well, let's shuffle a hundred times then. Which kind of annoys my OCD, but it is what it is. Let's see.
On your side, you get the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords. You're starting to be more practical in a particular situation. I feel like you're pulling away from your emotions a little more these days when it comes to dealing with something in particular and kind of stepping into a place of let's go by what makes sense rather than how we truly feel. Usually when that happens, we're probably upset about something within the situation or, you know, there's some sort of something going on inside of us that decides shut down to emotions, you know. I don't know. That's usually the case, but I don't know in this case because I'm not clarifying. For the energy attached to you, the Seven of Wands, the Star, the Strength card. Well, they want what they want. Problem is, they don't even want what they want. Um, it's like it's a little difficult for them because I see them wanting something and it's definitely tied up to you uh, but then I see them standing in the way of that so nobody else is doing it but themselves blocking that path there's some sort of resistance there's some sort of something that doesn't allow them to believe oh what I want can actually be achieved you know for the connection, the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Looks to be a soul connection. But yeah, it's definitely being approached from a more mind perspective rather than love. Which is okay, every situation has its times of love, of mind, of... Because it's not the confused mind though, so I'm not really worried about it. It's just a period of time where almost... It almost feels like we don't have time for emotions right now, you know? Like we're in the chop-chop kind of phase. So, I don't know. It seems to be working out for now. Let's see what the universe has. Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. This could be even a friendship. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, it's something close to you, definitely. But um, I see it being a little icky for now. I see it being in a place where the energies are not that pleasant. Not a hundred percent. Not as they were. Not as what they could be. For some reason, this situation is experiencing something a little tough. A little. Not to the point of oh my god, you know. But there's something there that's bugging this connection. That's it. Moving on to Leo. Okay, on your side, you get the Tower, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of get the sense that you're kind of falling unexpectedly, possibly, into a place of balance, into a place of, even for a split second, like, man, I feel good. Man, something feels good. I feel happy. I feel good. And then it goes away. It doesn't even matter. It's that split second that, oh, you know, how did I get here? Um, so there's a good energy that you're falling into. I don't see it. That's the thing. I don't see it stay, stay long, uh, but it doesn't matter. Just the fact that you're there is kind of an achievement here because I, I, I kind of see you working towards getting in that place of, let me feel more balanced. Let me feel better. You know, um, hmm. for whatever or whoever is connected to you here. The Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords. They want to take some action towards you, but what they're doing right now is healing some sort of pain they have probably attached to this connection to you. Uh, so 
it's like first I need to heal and then I'm gonna do something but for now I see them healing I see them kind of standing by and just kind of taking care of this pain that they're feeling uh, for the connection the seven of swords the two of cups the knight of cups yeah I mean it, it kind of describes what's going on in here because I see as one of you is open to this which that falls onto you because if you're in that emotional balanced place that tells me you're open while the other one has their back away for a little bit which tells me this is them because they're healing for now so let's see what the universe has <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's kind of like a perfect combo here, whatever's going on here, um, that may lead actually to something very happy, uh, very loving, very happy. It's like, okay, you know, I'm working on my crap, I need my space to do that, and you're like, take it. Meanwhile, I'll be right here enjoying the places of balance, of love, of all of that, which I'll keep open for you, but... Um, it's like one is doing one thing and the other one is doing another, but they're both kind of respectful of what the other one is doing, which kind of leads to a formula of success when it comes to we're actually building up love here, you know, a lo loving space between the two of us. So I don't know. I have no idea what this is, but it feels good today. The readings overall. That's it. Moving on to Sagittarius. On your side, you get the Ten of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers. What's going on, baby boy? Hmm? What's happening? Um, there's a sense of defeat over a... Well, something that looks like a friendship, but I feel like it's more to you than that. It could show up as a friendship, you know, out there in the real world, but to you it's something of... There's more attachment on your side towards the situation by the looks of it. But you do carry a sense of defeat over it, which is telling me that either you feel it's done or it is looking like something closed out the situation. Uh, for the energy attached to you, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Three of Wands. Oh, they're in that place of, I'll move on. If you, if you don't stop me, I'll move on. But they're still looking at you and expecting you to stop them from moving on. So they're not moving on because they're in the Three of Wands here waiting for you to stop them. So they lie. So what the hell is going on here? You feel like it's done, they're like, stop me, because otherwise I'll move on. And they're not. A little, ah, Romeo and Juliet, really, uh, is back. For the connection, the Seven of Wands, the Temperance card, the Six of Swords. You don't want to follow them. You're like, if you want to move on, just move on. You're like, you're standing by here, and you you... Mm, you see this energy walking away from you and you're like, I'm not going to do anything about this. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to, you, 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 you're not my responsibility here. 
I'm not supposed to stop you. If you want to move on, move on. It's a little bit... Mm. Ego clashing kind of a situation. It's They're doing it for you to stop them. You're doing it because they're asking you to do it. You know? You're rejecting this because they're asking you to. Energetically, I'm not sure if physically I'm... I doubt that they would come and say, Saji, you need to stop me. Because I'm going to... Well, it could be. could be. I've heard of cases, worse cases than that. But, um... I don't know. It's like you're both doing it to spite one another. Let's uh, see what the universe has. The Empress, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Meanwhile, the both of you want for things to work out. And I'm like, how? How do you want that? You know, when neither of you are letting this go, neither of you are like, yeah, let's, you know, let me, let me check in with myself and see why I'm responding to this in the way that I do. You know? So, I don't know. Until someone realizes, hey, you know, this is ego at play. I don't think this energy is going to go away anywhere. That's it. Moving on to air signs. Libra. side you get the world card the fool the two of swords huh well you seem to be confused about something i'm not sure about what but it's like you're stepping from a stage of um really feeling almost eager about doing something almost eager about opening up in a particular direction like yeah i really almost excited like oh my god you know into uh what the hell but i feel like you you stepped completely into the position of what the hell about it because because that excitement is pretty much gone um so i don't know what the hell this is about but it seems to be confusing as hell the energy you have this directed towards uh the energy attached to you the hermit the queen of swords the judgment card they have two major healing cards in there. Pretty big. Pretty big. They are showing up in the Queen of Swords, though, so that's... Mm, I feel like they're... Oof. They're in a good place overall, but it's like they know it. They almost have a cocky attitude about it. Like, look at me how healed I am. You know, how good I'm doing. Or... Ah, there's something about this Queen of Swords, which usually, I mean, usually the Queen of Swords is not nasty or, you know, they're, they're quite determined, they're quite logical about things, they're quite, you know, what you see is what you get kind of an energy. But this time around, there seems to be a little bit of, uh, to it. So it could be intimidating to you, that's why you're like, what the hell, what, what, what am I supposed to do with that, you know? Hmm. For the connection, the Three of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. There's something here. There's a desire to bring this together, but there's not much being done. Uh, now, if the desire is on your part, I can understand why there's not much being done, because you're in the Two of Swords. Not much is being done from that place. From their part... Ah, that's that's the thing that I'm getting there. It's like uh, if something needs to be done, somebody else needs to do it. I don't have to do it. It's fine. You know, there's a little bit of that going on. Just a tiny little bit. It's not to the point of, you know, like I'm describing it. 
um, like so severe, but there's a little bit of that going on there. Where it's like things come to me, I don't go to things. I don't know, that's a weird energy. Let's see what the universe has. The Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Okay. Because uh, uh, it seems that things might be switching off a little bit here. Might be switching from this energy into a more equal give and take kind of an energy, which that's, you know, feeling a whole lot better. Um, I don't know. It's a tough energy. It's an on the edge kind of an energy that's being brought through the overall reading and then the universe kind of gives me a sense of chill it's gonna settle down so i'm like okay good um i'm not i i, I don't know roles can be reversed just as you know but um I'm not the greatest kind of a matching energies for right now but again we have the reassurance from the universe that it's kind of going to flip into a different direction here, a better one. So that's it, Libra. Moving on to Aquarius. Juno is semi up. Semi up. Oh, let's see, Aquarius. On your side, you get the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so you're waiting for um, things to balance out a little bit. There seems to be an energy of um, almost knowing that things will be okay. You're, you're going to be fine, especially you tied up to you where it's coming with this energy of emotional balance. Again, a sense of I'm, I'm going to get me back. I'm going to be okay. But it looks like you're waiting for that. So you're not yet in that energy. You're just kind of anticipating it. And it's a good kind of anticipation. Because again, I feel like it's coming from a place of you just knowing that everything is going to be okay. Um, possibly tied up to a particular situation. Uh, the energy tied up to you, they get the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Death card. Okay. There's a little bit of disappointment here. There's a sense of defeat on their side. There's a sense of, you know how you have this synergy of it's going to be okay. They have quite the opposite. They, they're they in the death process of it all. Like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Absolutely not. You know, kind of thing. Um, For the connection, the page of cups, the ten of cups, the six of pentacles. The connection says, yes, it is. Connection says, well, things are looking happy. Things are looking good. Things are looking... Mm, I see love on their side, but what is this whole energy of blah around it? You could be away from this, and this kind of has them turn it a, turning this whole situation into they don't love me, that's why they're away. Who knows? There's a little bit of, sen of a sense of things are going south on their side. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. The Justice card, the Five of Wands, the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bump in the road here for some reason. And it's not looking that great. But the way you're taking this bump in the road is... In time, it's going to settle down and things are going to be okay. The way they're taking it is, what time? It looks like it's a goner, you know, almost panicking about it. Ah, the universe is saying it's it's gonna it's gonna happen in time. There's gonna be some balance being restored here and love back into play, you know. Ah, mm. somebody wants to be really upset about it. But that's it.
Moving on to Gemini. <clears throat> On your side, you get the Judgment card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords. Oh man, you are doing so good here in this Judgment card. I mean, it's kind of normal, the energy that's coming through here, because the Judgment card always takes me to that place of almost like the Dark Knight of the Soul. Almost. Not, not quite there. Uh, in a place of extreme healing. And uh, that place always brings a sense of Man, such uncomfortableness, such misery at times, experiencing that. And unfortunately, I see you going from that place into, okay, I'm going through it, it's okay, it's okay, I've got this, into, oh shit, you know, it feels like crap, like a sense of defeat, like I can't do this. You can, you can, you know. I feel like you possibly are influenced here and there by some energies in the way that you feel, but uh, keep it to you, keep it to your own experience and what's, you know, happening for you, not to you, for you. Um, the energy attached to you, the Five of Wands, the Star, the Eight of Wands. Okay. Well, it's very conflicting because I feel like the energy that they're feeling truly... <clears throat> is that of wanting something here. There's something they definitely want tied up to you. Now the way it's coming out could be like, I hate you, Gemini. And it's like, well, what the hell do they want from me then? You know, because it's very conflicting. It's very the opposite poles, what they feel they want and what they're putting out. Ew. Uh, for the connection, the Seven of Swords, the Devil, the Hangman, Wow, you're stepping away from a nasty freaking cycle that belongs to you. And those could look ugly, um, really ugly. So I see you closing off that cycle or, or just kind of seeing it, hitting it in the face basically because it's yours, recognizing it and then being like, oh, okay, let me, let me take care of you. And then kind of stepping away from it, which is indicating to me that you're healing something when it comes to that. So there's some sort of uh, possibly a pattern here, a repetitive cycle for you that feels like it's really not healthy for you that you are healing at this time. You're still in the middle of that. It has to do somehow indirectly with the situation. It almost feels like, you know, when somebody really close to you does something um, nasty, and then you can judge them all you want. You can point the finger all you want. The more they piss you off by them doing that, the chances are it's going to point to you. It's going to point to something that you need to take a look at for yourself. You know, I kind of get the sense that it's something like this here going on. Um, or someone is doing something so, oh my God, that it's like, wait a minute. Do I do that? Yeah, you because know, otherwise you wouldn't be so triggered or so annoyed. You're like, oh, I want to kill them for that. Well, you know, that says something about you. Um, let's see what the universe has. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Justice card. Yeah... It's like what's showing up here as an energy is the best thing to do right, right now is mind my own business, you know, kind of thing. And I kind of feel like that belongs to you because it is your journey and you are experiencing a journey here with the judgment card, definitely. So it, 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 it's a tough one as it is, letting yourself be influenced by other energies around you, you know? 
So I kind of see this whole sense of, you know what, for now, for now, the best thing to do would be to mind my own business, do my own thing, do me. So that's it, Gemini. Moving on to water signs, Pisces. something that I forgot I moved it here because Juno was wandering around and I'm like I don't have space no make it all right on your side did I just I, I pulled an overall energy for you well we'll put this on the side here you know habits three of wands which already kind of describes the mood of this reading oh and you started with the two of wands really uh, anyways, I don't do that for these videos for the new people, but I do it in the weeklies and in the in, in everything else but the Friday one. So out of habit, I pulled an overall energy, three of ones. Just keep it in mind. A little bit of waiting for something. Um, on your side, the two of wands, the world card, the three of cups. What is going on in here? Uh, you're waiting for something to come to an end. That's for sure, because you want a different energy. You want the energy of something coming back together. You're tired of whatever cycle you're experiencing. Um, so you're, you're done. You're like, I'm bored. I, I, I am tired of the cycle. Whatever the cycle is. Okay, I got it. Okay, 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 done. Moving on. Two, possibly a big shift, a big change into two energies coming together or coming back together. Um, the energy attached to you, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Justice, I mean, not only do they show me the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, they then have to show me the Justice card. Balance, complete balance, apparently on their side. At least in the way that they're showing it to me, they're in a balanced place. Which is telling me that whatever it is that their stance is on when it comes to this, that's what it is. It's like the truth. At least I would believe it to be as a truth with the energies that they're presenting here. Um, for the connection, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Swords, it feels very, very hard to communicate. And I feel like that's more your energy. Uh, given that you're in a place of... They're in a... They're, they're in a state of accepting whatever changes come, whatever happens, whatever. They're in a stage of acceptance over whatever. You're in a stage of, I want for this to change so that we can skip on to this and we can, you're in a stage of expectation. You know, if this is your rules can be reversed so you would know who's who. Um, but whoever's in the stage of non-acceptance, they're definitely more in the mind space, which makes things look very, very confusing. And that's why it seems very hard to open up, to give energy, to, to do something, to let the energy flow, basically. Because their energy or their flow uh, in their energy is tied up to their expectation. If this doesn't change, then I won't talk or I won't do this or I won't do that. It's conditioned. You know, this other energies, it's not, it's not conditioned. You know, if they feel they have to talk, they're going to talk. If they feel they don't have to, they won't. So it's, you know, doesn't have conditions to it. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Lovers, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is definitely a connection. It feels like as time goes by and nothing happens, the more time passes by and nothing happens, and this time, it feels like, oh, I don't love them as much. 
which I feel like that's a bunch of crap. Um, ish. Crap-ish. Because it's not that someone doesn't love someone that much. Is that the love in the way that it was felt is going to shift. It's going to be felt a little different. Uh, which, to, at least in my opinion, it doesn't make it more or less. It just makes it different. You know? So, I don't know. But that's it. Alright, moving on to Scorpio. On your side, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Justice card. You want to work on a commitment here. You want to keep it balanced, make it work, make it feel good, look good, everything. You've got good intentions here. And good energy towards making this work. So, I don't know. Seems like you're open to make something happen here, tied up to a commitment. Uh, the energy tied up to you, they get the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups. They have the same kind of an attitude. They're coming from a little bit of a different kind of place, which is not necessarily bad. It's just a different approach, different energy. Uh, the goal, I feel like, is the same. You know? They could be seeming that... Mm, they're not giving that much or the, to me it seems almost like they're shy you know in the way that they want to let that energy out um to me it seems like that to you it might seem like they're not putting in any any kind of effort here you know but i don't see that necessarily the, the energies come from they're at the same stage basically in terms of what the both of you are trying to achieve here uh, for the connection, the death card, interesting, the star, the emperor. It could be that almost, it almost feels like as you're transitioning from what you thought you wanted into something that you're just creating as, I need to figure out, as, I need to figure out what it is that I want now. You're kind of giving something a chance here on the side to see, hmm, maybe it's this, you know. It kind of feels like that because it feels like a new energy where two people are starting to create something together, which doesn't make make it necessarily that the person is new. The energy is very new uh, where you're working on something and it's like it's not looking like what I thought I wanted, but it may look different. So there's a little bit of restructuring in what it is that you want. So what you wanted yesterday might be not what you want today you know and i feel like whatever this is is kind of helping you figure that one out let's see what the universe has Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Yeah, all of this is part of your process of moving on from something. And moving on from something doesn't have to be you're moving on from a person. It could even be that whole sense of, you know what? For years, I really thought I wanted this and I invested in this because that was my desire. And now it's shifting. My desire is shifting. So now my energy is going to shift towards my new desire, which even if I don't have it figured it out yet, I know it's something else. So it's kind of looking like whatever this is, is part of that. And it does come with a sense of moving on from something here. So it's quite nice, quite nice. 
Because I feel like this energy, whatever it is, it's helpful for you in this process. So that's it. <clears throat> Moving on to Cancer. Do you know, you can wake up now. I can take you for another five minutes. See how we are with our expectations of when, how, if. Man, humans. Um, of course, she's not going to wake up when she's, you know. And that creates a disappointment, right? You're expecting for her to wake up because you can take her on. And then she's like, no, thank you. And you're like, oh, whatever. And it creates this whole extra energy of why the hell do we need this disappointment? And luckily, <laughs> I don't get offended when my animals don't respond to me. Because <laughs> I know they're not gonna. Let's see, Cancer. Man, I had a dream. I forgot to tell you guys about the dream. I'll tell you after this. Because I don't remember it all, just a part of it, but oof. Uh, on your side, you get the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Chariot. Ooh, this is nice energy. This is you kind of going out there and doing whatever you can to make something happen. And I feel like this is very much related to your latest reading, if I'm not mistaken, where you're stepping into a place of action of doing something. And it does have to do with a commitment here, possibly, possibly a former commitment. I don't know. Um, the energy attached to you, the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, the King of Swords. Oh man, and I was just talking about it, expectation here, but it's not that kind of an expectation. It, it almost, almost feels like the ball is in your court and you're taking the ball and you're running with it. So it's like on both sides, it's well known. This side has to move while this side is kind of not waiting for this side to move, knowing that this side is going to move. So it's kind of like that. It's very interesting the way it shows up. Because I would be like, oh my God, this is expectation. What the hell is going on here? But it's not necessarily that. It's, a, it's almost like a knowing, you know? For the connection, the Ace of Cups, the Death card, the Moon. Ah, oh, man. No, 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 no worries. I don't feel like, oh, okay, you know, you're going to try this and then it's not going to work out. I don't feel like it's that. It might show up like that. I feel like it's a subtle energy. I kind of get the sense that almost that <sighs> right now, at least, it may not be the time. Not a good time for this energy of love to be available. I don't know why. There's some healing that needs to be done here. And I feel like it's already been done. A lot of healing on your side, on their side. Um, but there's something shadowy here that's keeping... It's it's kind of like in the way of this love to come through. And the shadowy aspect is either on your side or on theirs or even the both of you. Where there's something deep that needs to be healed to remove all bumps in the road. When it comes to this coming together in the way that it... it showing up here in a beautiful way so let's see what the universe has Ooh, man. this weather i think i'm gonna go to bed uh from the universe you get the page of cups the six of pentacles the seven of swords Yeah, yeah, it's here. The um, oh, man, and this sucks because I feel like your energy is in tune, their energy is in tune, but the, when the, the universe interferes with not now, you know, not now, it's hard to hard to understand and to trust, you know, and it might take you off balance. It might take you like, oh, I'm doing something wrong, which you're not. They're not. For some reason, there's something else that needs to be addressed first. Because, yes, there's love. Yes, there's equal give and take somewhere beyond this shadowy energy. But for right now, it's shown up as, eh. So 
So I don't know. I don't know, but that's it. And that is what I have for you. And um, before I go, I do not, I had a bunch of dreams. And I feel like I have a bunch of dreams every night, but a lot of the times either someone's deciding to wake me up really sudden and I'm like, man, lately that hasn't happened. I woke up very smoothly lately-ish. Juno was the one that played with springs at 5 a.m. But I still sleep through that for the most part. Um, but I don't remember much. I just remember that there was a lot of activity in my dreams. And at some point, I remember that I was um, in a house somewhere. I'm not sure who's or why I was there. or But there were a bunch of people, which I don't even know if I knew. Some of them I did. Some of them I did for sure. But others, they didn't seem like I knew them, at least not from this reality of mine. Um, and at some point, I see Felix running outside. Now, he's an indoor cat. They all are. So I saw him running, but almost being scared and running from something. And he ran right past me, and then he start, He was running like... Ugh. And I shouted as hard as I could, Felix! And then he kind of stopped, but he stopped because something else scared him. And then he came running back towards me, but he wanted to pass me again. And somehow I grabbed like a little speck of fur. <laughs> like, I don't even know, just a, just a little patch of his fur with like three fingers or something. And I held on so tightly. I'm like, you, you can bite me, you can scratch me, you can do whatever you want. You're not fucking going anywhere. And he didn't. And it felt like that was my protection mode of what the hell is carrying you? Stay here. And he did. He he didn't scratch me. He didn't do anything. He he just stood there as if he trusted me. But man, he's forceful. Even in the dream, and I was like three fingers on. And he's a he's 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 kind of like this. So he's a, he's a big boy, and he's yeah. So that's the only thing I remember. And then I come downstairs in the morning and he's looking at me with his sweet eyes. And I'm like, I saved you last night. <laughs> he probably didn't. Well, maybe he knew. I don't know. Because then he did that whole thing with the hat. I'm like, yeah. I love my boys and my girl. Anyways, that's it. That's what I have for you guys. Uh, hope this helped. Um, and stay tuned for that video, which I'm not sure. I mean, I know when I'm going to be doing it. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting it. But over the next few days, for sure. So keep your eyes out. It's going to be on my channel. It's also going to be on uh, Soulful's Revolution channel. I don't know who's going to post it first. But uh, you're going to see it regardless on either here or, or there. So um, that's it. See you guys next time. Bye.